For how a salt system works here, you'll have a control box like this here, a power center. And what that will do is it'll give power to the salt cell. It'll send an electric current through here into the metal plates inside the cell. And that'll convert the salt into chlorine. That's basically how the salt system works. The salt in your water is converted as it goes through the salt cell and as electricity hits these plates in here. The right size salt system and you're running it the right amount of hours for your pool, you can produce about an equivalent of one gallon of liquid chlorine per day with your salt system. And there aren't too many components to a salt cell. You have the power center that supplies power. It also monitors the cell for any kind of errors. And you'll have a flow sensor and a temp sensor. The flow sensor will let the control panel or control box know that there's water flowing to the cell and that way it's safe to send an electric current to the cell itself. And the temp sensor will let the control center know that the water temperature is warm enough to produce salt. When the water temperature drops to a certain level, the salt production will stop. And most cells operate on a minimum of 3,000 parts per million of salt. So you have to use pool salt to charge your system and add the salt to your water. One thing to note about these salt cell plates, they do go bad over time and all the salt cells are rated for a certain amount of time. Depending on the size of your pool, how long you run it, and the pool temperature is how long the cells usually last. And the plates do wear out over time from constantly getting the electrical charge and generating the chlorine. Also, if the plates get dirty with calcium buildup, they won't get charged and it won't work and that's why a lot of times the salt systems stop working. And at that point you have to take the salt cell apart and clean it. Generally, most salt cells last about five years on average. And this particular unit is the Nexapure by American SPS. The benefits of going with a salt system is that you can get away from all the harsh uh, chlorine chemicals like the tablets and the shock treatments. That's one of the good benefits of a salt system. You don't have to handle the harsh chlorine chemicals and your pool will have a good residual chlorine level on a regular basis as the cell is producing chlorine as it's running. And the good thing about having the residual chlorine level every week is that it eliminates shocking your pool, which is very common if you're adding chlorine by yourself. With the salt generator actually putting chlorine in your pool on a regular basis, it eliminates shocking of your pool in most cases.